Hello friends, welcome to Coding Host YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you program to find union of two arrays in Java. Let's see what is union. So union means set of elements which is present in array 1 or array 2 or in both arrays. So let's take an example that we have two arrays, array A and array B. So if we make union of these arrays, so it will be 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 10. So in this set of elements, some elements are from array A and some elements are from array B or some elements are present in both the arrays but we don't have to repeat an element if it is present in both arrays so let's write the program so in the program i have taken these two arrays array a and array b after that i will take some variables int m equal to a dot length and int n equal to b dot length and after that I will take two more variables int x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 after that I will take a while loop while x less than m and and y less than n so in this while loop I will take some if else statements so if a of x is less than b of y in this i will print system dot out dot print a of x and space and after that x plus plus and after that i will take a else if statement else if b of y is less than a of x so in this i will print b of y and y plus plus and in the else part i will print b of y and after that x plus plus and y plus plus and after that i will take two more while loops while x less than m in this i will print a of x and increment x plus plus and one more while loop while y less than n so in this i will print b of y and increment y plus plus so let's run this program so in the output we are getting 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 so let's see how this program is working so in the program i have taken two arrays array a and array b so i am writing all the elements of this arrays also i am writing the indexes of this element so 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 after that i have taken some variables int m equal to a dot length so in the variable m we, we have a dot length so a dot length is 6 because we have 6 elements in array a so we have 6 in the m variable after that int b equal to b dot length so in the variable n we have 4 because we have only 4 elements in array b so it is 4 after that i have taken two variables x and y so we have two variables x and y in which we have values 0 and 0 so i have taken these four variables so this m and x variables are for array a and this n and y variable is for array b after that i have taken a while loop while x less than m and and y less than n so x is 0 and m is 6 so 0 is less than 6 yes true and and y is 0 and it is less than n n is 4 so 0 is less than 4 yes true so this both left and right hand side conditions are 
true and we get inside our loop and here we have a if statement if a of x is less than b of y so element at index x in array a so x is 0 so at index 0 we have element 1 in array a is smaller than b of y so at index y in array b so y is also 0 and here we have element 2 at this index in array b so 1 is less than 2 yes true and this statement is true yes and it will execute this statements so it will print a of x and at this index x which is 1 so in the output we will get 1 and after that it will also increment x plus plus so x will become 1 so x plus plus because after that we have to compare the next element of array a with the array b after that while loop will again execute it will again check x less than m and and y less than n so x is 1 and it is less than 6 yes true and y is 0 and it is less than 4 yes true so these both conditions are true and we get inside our loop now it will again check in this if statement if a of x is less than b of y so x is 1 so at index 1 element is 2 and at y y is 0 so at index 0 element is 2 in array b so 2 is not smaller than 2 so this statement is false now it will check this else if statement so if b of y is smaller than a of x so the element of array b is not smaller than element of array a so this statement is also false and it will not execute now the else statement will execute so it will print the element at index y in array b so at index 0 element is 2 and it will print 2 in the output and after that it will increment the values of x and y so x will become 2 and y will become 1 so to check the next elements of array a and array b so you can check here that if element of array a is less than element of array b so we print the element of array a and we will increment the index of array a and in the next if statement if the element of array b is less than the element of array a in this we will print the element of array b and we will increment the index of array b to compare the next elements and in the else part we can see that if both the arrays have same elements we are also printing it in the output after that while loop will again execute and now it will again check that x less than m and and y less than n so x is 2 and it is less than 6 yes true and y is 1 and it is less than 4 yes true and we again get inside a loop now here it will again check that element of array a is less than element of array b so at index 2 at index 2 we have element 5 in array a at index 1 at index 1 we have element 4 in array b so 5 is not less than 4 so this statement is false and it will not execute so 4 is less than 5 yes true so this statement is true and it will execute and it will print b of y so in the output we will get 4 and it will also increment the value of y plus plus so now y will become 2 after that y loop will again execute now here it will again check that x less than m and and y less than n so x is 2 and it is less than 6 yes true and y is also 2 and it is less than 4 yes true and we again get inside our loop so at index 2 at index 2 we have element 5 in array a and at the same index we have element 6 in array b so 5 is less than 6 yes true so this statement is true and it will execute so in the output we will get a of x so at x which is 2 element is 5 so in the output we will get 5 and after that x plus plus so x will become 3
after that while loop will again execute so now it will again check that x less than m and and y less than n so x is 3 and it is less than 6 yes true and y is 2 and it is less than 4 yes true and we again get inside our loop now at index 3 we have element 7 in array a and at index 2 at index 2 we have element 6 in array b so 7 is not less than 6 so this statement is false and it will not execute now it will check this next statement so 6 is less than 7 yes true so this statement is true and it will execute and it will print b of y so in the output we will get 6 so in the output we will get 6 and after that get y plus plus so y will become 3 after that it will again check that x less than m and and y less than n so x is 3 and it is less than 6 yes true and y is also 3 and it is less than 4 yes true and we again get inside our loop and now at index 3 element is 7 in array a and at the same index element is also 7 in array b so we know that if the elements are equal so in that case these two statements this one and this one will not execute and this else statement will execute so in the output we will get b of y so in the output we will get 7 and after that it will increment the values of x and y so x will become 4 and y will also become 4 and while loop will again execute so x is 4 and it is less than 6 yes true and here y is 4 and it is less than 4 no so this statement is false one statement is true and one statement is false so this while loop will break here and here you can see that in the array a we have 6 elements and in the array b we have 4 elements and we have printed elements from the common size of array a and array b like from 4 elements in the array a and 4 elements from the array b we have taken the common and uncommon elements in the output now we have to print the remaining elements of the larger array so here larger array is a in which we have two elements remaining 8 and 10 so that's why in the last i have taken these two while loops this while loop will print the remaining elements of array a and this while loop here is for array b so it will print the remaining elements of array b we have two elements remaining and here it will check that x less than m so x is 4 and m is 6 yes true 4 is less than 6 yes true so this condition is true and it will print element at x index so at index 4 we have element 8 so in the output after that we will get 8 and after that x plus plus so x will become 5 now it will again check that x less than m so 5 is less than 6 yes true so at index 5 element is 10 and it will print element at index 5 so in the output we will get 10 after that x plus plus so x will become 6 after that it will again check that x less than m so x is 6 and it is not less than 6 so this condition is false and this while loop will break and we know that this next loop will not execute because y is 4 and it is not less than 4 while loop will not execute so in the output we will get 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 which is the union of array a and array b so this is how we can write a program to find union of two arrays in java thank you Thank you.